Hey, and welcome back. We're doing some more Mario th uh, Mario Land 2. Mario Land 2. The, the five golden coins. Yep, because we got one golden coin in the last point. At this point, we're, uh, we're not actually going to a hippo world. We're going... This is an interesting level. It's like a one-of-a-kind, I think. It's a bubble level where you can float. And you can, and you can pretend you're Glinda, but look at the list. Ah! Oh god, birds! Birdfish! Yeah, so, there's actually a secret in this level. Here it is. Oh, you know what, this sucks though, because you have to have the fire flower, and then you have to be small Mario. Well, it's not too <laughs> secret if you know about it. Well, well, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. So, they're not cheap cheap. It's like an ugly fish with a face, and I killed it. <laughs> you were supposed to kill me! Yeah, and I have to go forward again. So this, these are kind of a pain in the ass. There's a lot of these secret secret areas that you have to be small Mario in order to get to. Kill me! And they're very challenging to get through. Uh, the worst one, I think, is... is in order to get to the beach level in, uh, in the turtle world. Yeah, I got two lives, that's it. Uh. Two lives. I spent a fire flower for that bullshit. Secret level. <laughs> Secret, secrets in video games that require you to use the train of thought that only occurred to the developer. I don't think it's that confusing because you're like, okay, I, I know what. There's a those it's brown blocks. It's not confusing, but it is, it is a little dickish. Yeah. So there's those special blocks that can only be broken with a fire flower. So you and know to break them with a fire flower. What distinguishes them from regular blocks? They have ugly faces on them. They're kind of like the ones from Mario 3. Ah. Huh. And they can okay. only be broken with a fire flower. How does this bubble control? Uh, you just hold A and you float. That's it. Oh, okay, cool. There's actually a space level later on that uses similar controls. So this is jet actually sort of training. Is this a... Do we get to ride a jetpack? Uh, no, you're just floating in space. Oh, that's my immersion. <laughs> you could you could imagine Mario has a jetpack on. Uh, he he flew a plane, <laughs> plane in the last game. Oh shit! I forgot you can't jump on fish. Uh, you can jump on cows, but you can't jump on fish. You can jump on frogs, but you can't jump on fish. I mean, you, you think that's you think that would be obvious that I wouldn't jump on a fish in this game, but. I can jump I underwater, so... I don't know, but then again, most of Mario's problems he can solve with a good boot. Yeah, so... Whoa! Oh, damn it! I'm gonna shrink. Uh, cheap, cheap! It was cheap. Yeah, very cheap. So, the nice thing, though, is the bubble counts as an extra hit. Oh, cool. So, can we classify this as Bubble Mario? Uh, if you want to go that far. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm getting the coins, I really have no use for them. <laughs> These aren't the golden coins you're looking for, Mario, yeah. but I still don't want them. They really have no value. I mean, the coins have only have value for winning extra lives and playing minigames. No, they have... Techni by technicality, they have absolutely no value because they're... Because they're everywhere. Thank Thanks, Vsauce 3. Oh yeah, I, I didn't actually see the Vsauce video, because I don't really like Vsauce, but... I don't just like him, I'm just... I just uh, don't watch his videos. Uh, according to Mario 3, the coins are... Weigh a, one coin weighs about 4.5 tons. Really? Yes, that's how big they are compared to Mario in Mario 3. Oh. Well, did, did he do the math to say that Mario is like 4 foot tall or whatever? Or like 3 foot tall? Yeah. Okay. The, they, the coins aren't really worth anything because they can, they literally, they almost literally grow on trees. Alright, do you see this thing here? Doesn't this look like something suspicious? Yes. Yeah. Money oh, bag. Um, wait, what is... Money, money bags are worth bag? 50 coins, yeah. I almost thought that was a maximum tomato from Kirby. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like that. Oh, cheap. Well, they, they, they put the coins right next to the water because they know. Oh. Is this Mario. soccer game over now? Go! Oh. oh, cool! I get a fire flower. I get a feather on my hat. It's the feather on this cap. 
So now we're in space zone, even though it was a hippo zone. What? What the hell? Da, 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 da. I love this song. D did you ever hear um uh the the, Mar the Ducktales on the Moon song? Yeah. I love this one more. Uh, uh, I kind of like Ducktales more, if only because I've played the game. Oh, I mean, I played the shit out of this game when I was little, so of course I love this one more. Da, 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 how do, does the comic explain how we got here in the first place? Uh, no. Oh. How how we got here? You mean how we got to space? How did we get to space? And why are we in space when the goal is to get get our castle back? Well, one of the, one of the stars is in the castle, or in the space alien has a star. So, Wario contacted aliens. Well, an alien kidnapped Princess Daisy. Oh, yeah. I forget. I had no idea what that thing was. I think they said he was an alien. Uh... Well, there were UFOs in the game. Yeah, so... Look at the happy happy little planet there. Everything has eyes. Oh, damn it! I get hit by the ball. In the end, the weird nozzle dog lasts last. I always thought they were pigs. Uh, pig birdos? I guess so. They shoot out balls that you can bounce on the ball. The only thing is if you get hit on the side with the ball, then you just die. Or uh, in the face, like we just saw a yeah. minute ago. All these beautiful coins and I can't get them all. You know what? Forget the... You know what, forget the gold coins. Why don't we just melt these all together into the, the rest of the coins? You think we you think we could pull that off? It's gotta be possible. I mean what special properties do the do the six coins have other than, other than just being giant coins? Okay, so this game kinda has some problems emulating. There's a ton of oh, you see that, that right there on the right? Those yeah. smiley faces there? Yeah, I saw them. Yeah, if you hit them with the fire flower, there's, I think there's something in there. <laughs> well, too bad. Come on, one. Yeah, three up. Three up. Whoop, whoop, three up. Ah, uh, what? And now. Read for the stars tonight. And this is the only time the song ever plays in the game. It's one of my favorite songs in Mario history. Well, da, I can't... Da, 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 da. Sorry. <laughs> well, I, can't, I can't hear it because, uh, because we're screen sharing this. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you should look up the soundtrack for this game because it uh, is amazing. I will at some point because... Uh, oh. Holy shit, I'm... Yeah, those mushrooms are a dick. If you have the fire flower and you get a mushroom, you turn back into you turn back into Super Mario. Oh, good lord! Yeah, that's a dick move right there. Never happened in any of the other games. There, I think this is the only game that this happens in. There better be the only game this happens in. Yeah, so this level, I would just recommend staying towards the top of the screen because there's two sections of it. This is the easy part. Hmm, Mario's just randomly in space. Are you sure that after the first, after the first game, Mario just did, after Mario 2, Mario just wasn't in a coma? What? Why would he be in a coma? Who oh, no, knows, and maybe these are just the fantasies he's dreaming up. I don't know, I'm not sure why, but I'd at least be comfortable knowing someone is suffering, though. Ooh, I got really close to the, oh damn, I got hit. Uh, shooting stars. The colors do not feel so right. Where's your wisp now, John? Oh, oh shit. You should, like, have got, you should have been hit there. Yeah, I'm getting really close. Too co close for comfort here. Okay, I'm not gonna fish in guy. space? I guess. I don't know. That's the, that's the only comparison I can make. Okay, this is the hard part. Whee! So, Mario, doing the moon hike before De Dante does. De Dante? Dante, I think. What? What happens? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to say. Okay. Okay, here, this is the boss of uh, Mario Land 1. 
Um, I knew it wasn't just some random alien. Well, okay, so the easiest way to kill this guy, wait, if I can get if I can get a hit off on him. What's what's what are you okay. supposed to do? You just you just float over him. You can't hit. He can't hit you. Ah, uh, this is a serious downgrade. <laughs> he can't hit you at all. <laughs> Oop, now he, yeah, sometimes if you stand in the wrong spot, I'll hit you. I hit him! Let me do a little jig. There, he's dead. And what that did was, he ever do to you? Uh, he, princess, he kidnapped Princess Daisy, and he took my golden coin. Yeah, but if it weren't for that game where he debuted, we wouldn't even know Daisy existed. True. I'm surprised that Daisy seems like she appears in so many games, but... She doesn't have any personality worth the worth note. All right, so that's where we Ironic, go. Ironically enough, Peach has more personality. That's only because she's been in more stuff. Macro zone. Yeah. So this is like you know how everybody loves Little Big World. Yeah. Well, this is kind of the same sure. thing. Well, no, it's not actually. It's just sort of like how that Tree World was, if you remember where we were at before. Oh yeah. There's a lot of levels that use the ant model. Because this game, for some reason, loves ants. Yeah, I think it's because this one's more based off of, uh... You know how uh, Miyamoto always says he wanted the Mario games to be sort of like, uh... Down the rabbit hole? Yeah. So that's why I think there's Rabbit Mario and, uh... Huh. I, did, that's what I, I'm didn't, know that, I didn't know that was a concept for Mario. Yeah, he said that originally his his two his two uh, inspirations for Mario Brothers was uh, well not Mario Brothers but Mario like the Mario games uh, for Mario Brothers and uh, Donkey Kong he was inspired by Popeye the Sailor Man, which is why Pop which is why the Popeye game would it would use the exact same concept. Yeah, but well, I mean, if you ever, if you ever heard of the story that originally they were supposed to make a Popeye game. Yeah. So. He ended up... Miyamoto says that, that Mario and... Uh, oh, here, I got the star. Awesome! So, so you know how uh, Bowser goes... Uh, like, Bowser goes go-karting with Mario all the time? Yeah. He, he said that, like, uh, Bowser's a lot like... Bluto in the series, that he can he can be Mario's friend sometimes, or he can be Mario's enemy. Like, at any time. Just like Bluto can be. Huh. But he also said that, uh... He, I almost... He, yeah. I don't know why, but I almost thought you were you were meaning Donkey Kong was Bluto because of the original Mark the uh, Donkey Kong game. Uh, that's that's I mean that's that's a similar idea too, but he he just said that for for those two in particular. I'm uh, just to use it as an example. Yeah. Though there, though it's very rare nowadays to see Mario Bowser in the good guy's shoes. Okay, so if you see here, if you jump, uh, if like you jump right there next to me on the left, you will get stuck. I've I've just played this twelve times, so I know how to get through it without getting <laughs> stuck. All right then. It's another secret room. Three ups this time. Wow, well, we're streaming big. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good. I, like I don't know all the secrets in this game, but there is a ton. So if you if you if you jump right here, stuck. You can't go through now. Oh god. Also, fireball. There's a hole in the floor now. <laughs> Just in case you want to destroy the pathway. Yeah, there's some uh, self self imposed dick moves you can do here. This one's kind of a little bit unfair with that. Eh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here's a secret area. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's what I need the fire flower for to get to this area. Now let's see what. What we get? Metal ant? It's a star door. The star door is like a, a, a shortcut. So do you want to just skip the rest of this world? We could skip right to the end here. If you want to. It'll save some time. I got him. Okay, We're in the an, sky. An auto-scrolling level, yeah. Uh, because everyone loved these from Super Mario 3. Of course. Oh, that's just a fire flower. Run! Actually, what does Mario do with a fire flower when he gets them? Um, I, I assume some people say that he eats them. Some people say that he just takes the petals out and throws them. <laughs> you left me. You left me not. <laughs>
You love me, you love me not. I was just seeing if that... Okay, this is a vertical shaft I have to go down. Yeah, this is actually harder if you're Big Mario. I just oh, died. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that level is actually harder if you're Big Mario. And if oh, you're not paying attention like I wasn't. You're supposed to be Mini Mario. Yeah, I should have been paying attention there. Whoop. Damn it. No, I actually have a plan this time. I'll just start it earlier. Uh, I actually assume Mario eats a fire flower, though, though when I, on the rare chance I show them in my SGB comics, I, all my characters do is just hold them and not, and it just get, gives them pyrokinetic powers. There we go. But who knows, maybe fire flowers are a delicacy. Alright, so here's a fire flower. Yeah, so this level actually is like a power-up, like a power-up, uh... Heaven? No, it's it's more like you have to have a specific power-up in order to get through certain parts of the level. So... Now gonna want. So, there's one part of the level you need to, you need the buddy ears for? Nope, just, just fire flower and mushroom, but you can That's get through all. the whole level without it, without... You can get through the whole level without either of them, you just don't get any of the one-ups. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, so now we're in the house. Why are we small in the first place? Uh, li like I said, I think this game took the, like, the down-the-rabbit-hole approach that I was talking about. Oh, look, yeah. a witch! Well, we burnt the witch. Actually, I, you can just touch them and then you get the power-up. But a witch comes and steals the power-up. Huh. Right, here's, here's a... A moving plat- uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! <laughs> Run away! Like, there's a lot of death traps in this level, but it's not a hard level by any stretch. Death, death trap number one, crushed underneath book. Thankfully, of all things, that doesn't happen. Ooh, money! Yeah, and there's then, hundreds of free money bags in this game, you just need to know where they are. And then Kirby eats one by mistake. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm stuck between... Okay. <laughs> are we about to say a wall, wall in the heart? A hard place on a rock. Pretty much, but it was just two. It was it was a Kribo on the right and a Kribo on the left. Yes, I'm hard. that much of a, a dick about it that I like to say Kribo. When Mario takes more hearts than Kano. What? Oh, from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. All right. So what? Yeah. So there's nothing much else to this level besides small. No, the the whole stage, each each different stage in the level takes place in a different part of the house. Ah. Uh. And th this just happens to be the uh, like the book bookseller attic or whatever. Well, the book attic. Book attic. Whatever that means. Book full attic. Whoa. Okay, here's the boss. I think. Family it's a has, rat. Family has books on standby. Spent standby, so it looks like they actually read when instead they only watch TV. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's a, if there is a TV in this house. What? But, well, but we just played part of Exterminator. Well, that was good. We we got through two levels in this part. Um, I think we're gonna take a break after this part, and then we'll come back for another part of Mario Land 2. The three golden coins. So, see you then.